Hey guys, it's Topcakes99, and this is my Nike Air Force One Hardwood Classics review. Let's get right into it. Now guys, the visuals on this sneaker are very, very cool. As you can see on the front, we have standard Air Force One toe with a really nice blue and white little glare. Also, we have a red and white Nike swoosh as well as a blue air symbol on the side. On the back, we have a Nike Air tongue. And then on the front, we have the Air Force One standard little amulet thing as well as standard lacing. And on the tongue, it says Nike Air Force One. Also, on the inside of the sneaker, it says Nike Air. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is there. And as I said earlier, the whole entire sneaker that would be a different color on certain colorways has a blue and white glare. Now I forgot to mention about this sneaker's traction. Now I have a dead stock pair of these Air Force Ones, so the traction is very very clean. The lighting makes it hard to see, but it's actually a light blue color, and on the side, as regular Air Force Ones, a little bit of the traction goes up on the side. Now there's a bunch of little air, air bubbles as well and it says Nike Air right there if you can't tell. There's a bunch of rings all over in this traction and it makes it look really dope. Alright guys, so these sneakers are actually pretty comfortable. However, I would not recommend wearing them if you're gonna be doing something for a long time, especially if it would be better if you wore more comfortable sneakers. They are somewhat comfortable, but there definitely are more better options for finding comfortable sneakers like Ultra Boost, Air Maxes, anything like that would be more comfortable than these, but they're still not bad. Alright guys, so that does it for this Air Force One Hardwood Classics review. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to show me by liking and subscribing to the channel. And until the next video, I hope you have a great day.